You want to learn how to sew, but you don't know where to start or what to buy? Stay tuned and I will share with you my sewing essentials. Probably the most essential thing you will need when learning how to sew, you guessed it, a sewing machine. I like Brother sewing machines. They're easier to use, great for beginners. I use these in my sewing class. Next, you will need fabric and matching thread. I recommend that as a beginner, you start off with stretch fabric. That way, if you make a mistake, you could most likely still fit into it. Of course, we need scissors. One for paper, one for fabric. Make sure they're very distinct so that you don't mix them up accidentally. If you use your fabric scissors on paper, it will dull your blade. The next essential that I recommend is a tape measure. Start off with one that measures 60 inches. They come in different styles. You can find one like this. I'm not a fan of these. I like to put this around my neck. It makes me feel official. Next, you're going to need Taylor's chalk. I recommend you start off with white because any markings that you make on the fabric can come off with the use of an iron. Next up, pins. I love the pearlized pins. They have these cute little balls and they come in all different colors. Now some people don't like to use pins, but I love using pins. I find that it makes your garments much more neat and manageable. If you're able to buy a new machine, I recommend that you do. They usually come with a guide on how to thread it, as well as a number of accessories like a hem foot, extra bobbins, and a zipper foot. This pack also comes with my next recommendation, needles. In this pack, you have your standard needles that go with this machine, as well as a twin needle. Now, a twin needle is getting fancy. We're gonna get fancy, so you wanna get a twin needle. You can also buy additional needles. Universal needles will do just fine. Now, I've been sewing for about seven years, and this is still my best friend. You guessed it, the seam ripper. I use this every time I sew. And it's not just because I make a mistake. This is also used to take out seams when putting in zippers and to open up buttonholes. My next recommendation, rulers. I have so many rulers, I'm not even gonna show you all of them. Can't really see. Out of all my rulers, the one I use the most and is my favorite is the yardstick. Another essential I think some people overlook are tweezers. Tweezers are very useful in pulling up the bobbin thread after you finish threading the machine. And last but certainly not least, to house all these essential sewing recommendations is a sewing box. Now, I recommend you get this from Joann's. They tend to have coupons, and I got this $40 box for $20. 
and I love it. I've had it for years. Still holding up. Have you started sewing and found some essentials of your own? I'd love to hear. Leave it in the comments. I cannot end this video without acknowledging this special day. First of all, this is my very first YouTube like ever. But more importantly, this would have been my mother's 62nd birthday. I couldn't think of a better way to honor her and her legacy. To celebrate this special occasion, I am going to post at least one video every single day for the rest of the week. That's right, maybe more than one. So make sure you subscribe and press the notifications so that you will know when new videos are posted. There are other sewing tools that are not essential but very useful and make sewing a whole lot of fun. So if you'd like a PDF, listing everything I went over today and some bonus recommendations, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. You'll see a link for it in the description box. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You are amazing. And I can't wait to share some more sewing tips and tricks with you very soon. Peace and love.